What is it, you guys? It's Violet Telly here, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome back. Well, I'm back. Oh my god, I can't talk. Welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Anyway, hope you guys are feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, we are doing the item shop switch over. I am a little bit late because I've just come back from the cinema. But yeah, we are starting off with the marshmallow bundle, but we have a brand new style for him. So jumping straight in, we have the marshmallow skin. Everybody knows who the marshmallow is. Start the party. It is reactive, lights up when, music, when using musical emotes, part of the Marshmallow set. First introduced in OG Season 7. Two selectable styles, we have the OG default, which again, everybody knows about. But we have the brand new Toasted Marshmallow style, which looks pretty damn cool. I do like this, this is pretty damn cool. I am a big fan of like gold skins. Moving away from that, we have the emote itself. Marsh Walk, keep it mellow. First introduced the same time as the skin. We have the harvesting tool, the Melo mallets. They're times two, which looks pretty damn cool. They were first introduced like two seasons after the original skin, but we have the Melo mallets. Then we have the toasted marsh, marshy mashers. Jeez. Moving on to the last item, we have the glider, the Melo rider. Jeez. Fly happier. And then we have the second selectable style which is the golden version, which is the Roasty Rider, sorry. Pretty damn cool, loving the gold version more than the white. But yeah, we have the brand new gold selectable style for the Marshmallow skin. If you guys haven't got this bundle, then you will have to buy it. But if you guys already have this skin, it would have been gifted to you maybe yesterday or earlier on this morning. Moving on to the turn of a second bundle, we have the Falcon Clan bundle, which is pretty damn cool. Um, one thing I will say about this, this bundle though is this glider you will be heard when you redeploy and I'll show you now. I mean it's not exactly quiet. Anyway we have the legendary falcon glider. Saw on the wings of the fabled falcon. Part of the fabled clan set. First introduced in OG season 8. This is a pretty cool bundle. Um, the only reason I'm not doing a full bundle video on this is because I did do it on my previous channel before it was deleted. So I kind of don't really want to do it again. But anyway, it's pretty damn cool skins. I already own the Kunai skin and the glider, of course. Moving on to the uh, second half of the feature store. We've got some pretty cool skins in here. Starting us off, we have the Traveler's Bunda. Zorgoton. Yeah, Zorgoton. Freed from the lab and out for justice. Part of the UFO set, first introduced in OG Season X. Two selectable styles, as you guys can see, we have the default. And then we have the dark version, which is pretty damn cool. I love the fact that he's actually got Area 51 tagged on him, which is pretty funny. Also, you guys can see he's got shackles on his uh, left leg. Moving on to the second item, we have the flying saucer harvest and tool. Harvest the truth. Which is... Uh, it's not a bad sign, but I don't think it's going to do much damage to anyone. But anyway, moving away from that little bundle, we have the emote that goes with the bundle, the Team Space. Humanity had its chance. I love aliens. Pretty damn cool. Moving on to the rest of these skins, we have the Cozy Chomps. Take life one chomp at a time. Part of the Feeding Frenzy set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Two selectable stars with the default. And you can pick whether you have the tail or no tail, even though it does look completely naked. But uh, I do like it. Moving away from this, we have the Sharky Shawl Bat Bling. Drape yourself in Sharky goodness. First introduced the same time as the skin. Moving away from this, we have the Comfy Chomps. Kick back and get chomping. Pretty badass as well. First introduced the same time as the female skin. Moving on to the Bat Bling, we have the Overbite. It's got teeth. Absolutely badass looking bat bling. I mean, who wouldn't want a bag like this in real life? Got some shotgun shells on there and a little pouch, which is pretty cool. I like the little details on the bat blings. Moving away from this, we have the harvesting tools for this little set. We have the sharky slappers. The power of a shark, the convenience of a slap. Pretty damn cool. I remember seeing these in a circus act a couple of times, you know, when they throw like the fish at people. Pretty cool though. Before we move on to the glider, we will start off with the Sharky uh, wrap. It isn't animated or reactive, but looks pretty damn cool. We have some fins there or some gills uh, towards the top of the weapon. And then we have like a nice little cut or it looks like it's been um, hurt or something. Looks pretty damn cool though. So look what it looks like on other weapons. Not bad. I do like it on a sniper. 
And then last but not least, we have the legendary Sail Shark Glider. Now, it is a surfable glider as well. Take a bite out of flight. Looks absolutely amazing. I always make the joke, every time I see this, it reminds me of one of the Megas, one of the um, Megazords that, um, I think it was in Ninja Storm. I think it was the female um, Blue Ranger. She had like a shark that went into the Megazord. Um, which is pretty damn cool. I do like this. And it is a surfable glider. Who doesn't want a surfable glider? Moving away from that, we have the daily store as always. Starting us off, we have the return of the catastrophe, cat, the catastrophe, catastrophe skin. It's catastrophe, but it just it's cat at the beginning. Sharpen your claws. Loving the like radioactive um, cat ear headphones there. Looking pretty damn cool. Loving all these little tubes and the fact that it says toxic on the top. Pretty damn cool. Nice little toxic cat skin. Moving on to the back bling, we have the Toxic Kitty. Prepare, sorry, prepared for all nine lives. I love the fact that the mask as well, he's got cat ears on it. That is adorable. I like that, that's pretty damn cool. Part of the Has Cat set. First introduced in the OG Season X. Moving away from this, we have the return of the Guernsey skin. If you guys don't know, Jonesy was alive and was just hiding from the aliens during Season 7. Maneuver, sorry, yeah, maneuver your way to a mooing victory. Pretty damn cool. At least, at least he added shin pads and then you fall over. He's got milk grenades as well. That would have been pretty cool to make people slip milk grenades. Because we've only ever had the buggy bombs. We've never really had something that can like, you know, you can throw at people and make them slip or like, you know, like gag, gag weapons. Anyway, part of the other invincible set. Moving on to the lack pack. Sun warmed milky back bag. Ooh, sun warmed milk. I do love the fact that the actual agency did put a missing poster on the uh, milk for uh, Agent Jonesy, which is pretty cool. Moving away from this, we had the return of the googly eye glider. Hi, guys. First introduced in OG season three. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when, the, when, when you see like the googly eyes on stuff. But anyway, first introduced in the OG season three, so a very, very OG item. <coughs> which I haven't seen in a while. Moving away from this, we have the last three items in the daily store. We have the Laugh It Up emote. What's so funny? First introduced in OG Season 4. Introduced the season after the Googly Eye Glider. Moving on to the Cutting Edge Harveston Tour. Forged in a Practical Accelerator. Woo! This is pretty damn cool. Sometimes this might let you know, because usually when they put a harvester tool in here on its own, it usually means the accompanying skin's coming back soon. It's kind of like you can buy one and then buy the rest later. Part of the overclocked set, first introduced in OG Season 3. I'm trying to think, think which skin this belongs to. I can't really think. Anyway, moving on to the last emote in the daily store, we have the hot stuff. Hot stuff. First introduced in OG Season 5. Moving away from this, however, we move on to the bundles. We have the Boba Fett bundle, which is pretty damn cool. I'm excited to see this TV series. I did go over this the last couple of item shops, like the last two days or so, so definitely recommend checking out those item shops. And we've got the OG Imperial Star Trooper comeback. Moving on, we have the Concept Royale winners. I believe these skins were created by the community, and then they ended up sending them to Epic and Epic put them in the games. I definitely want to get these before they do disappear, though. Moving on, we have the No Way Home bundle. Funny enough, I've just I've just come back from watching Matrix, and then we had 10 minutes to go and watch um, No Way Home, so I watched two films right after the other, about two and a half hours each. But, uh, yeah... I like this Spider-Man. I'm not too sure about Tom Holland though as Spider-Man, but I love the uh, film in general. Moving on, we have the, uh, the Stars Team Bundle, which is pretty damn cool. We also have the Tis the Season skins now. Again, I think these will probably disappear shortly after, shortly before New Year's. But we've got some pretty cool skins in here. You guys would have seen these over the past couple of weeks. Um, obviously, I did do videos on my old channel, but that channel was deleting, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, that's why I might sound a bit like, you know, I don't really want to cover things because I've already gone over them several times. Because I was doing the item shop for, like, what, two years before my channel got deleted? I will be doing a video on that tomorrow or the next couple of days, just explaining what happened. But, uh, yeah, we've got some pretty cool items in the daily store and item shop in general. But, obviously, the standout's got to be the brand new Marshmallow style. Pretty damn cool, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Uh, if you like the... Ch sorry. Ooh. 
subscribe and tell if you're new and join let's catch a vibe and yeah hopefully if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as i upload but more importantly don't forget to stay vibey and i'll catch you next episode peace